and welcome to Backseat Gamer. I'm welcome. your host, Michael Riley. With me is Jason Amherst. Hello. And Asha Miller. Hi. And today, we are playing Story hey, Excuse me, excuse me, monsieur. Uh, I just need a moment of your time before you begin your, your little, uh, how do you say, uh, smack, your, smack your mouth. Uh, my okay. name is Hercule Poirot. Okay. Okay. And uh, tonight, the second of March, I am trying to solve a murder on the Orient Express. Now I don't know if you are able to get a clip of this to put on the, the uh, how do you say the tubules. Uh, I would like if you could very much put it the uh, the the short story for this, if if it is so possible. We are the little victory. Theater in Staten Island, and I would be so very kind if you can do that for me. Okay, I will. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Akil. I will do that. You're, you're so you're you're very talkative. I I, <laughs> I I I I was just letting you do your thing. I I I, just... I, I liked your work in uh, Dragon Ball Z, Hercule. <laughs> what I what is what is this what the balls dragon what what is this I don't balls are dragging across your face ah uh, never mind <laughs> I, 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 I like your I'm mustache quick, I'm very quick to give you a how you say a uh, donkey punch <laughs> if you wonder I I've never heard of Poirot donkey punching anyone <laughs> well. <laughs> That that was the uh, the long lost short story, as you can see. Okay, you know what you you, I I can see that the collective IQ here is 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 in second digits. So I'm just going to go now. The collective um, IQ is at least sixty nine. Nice. <laughs> uh, if well, I if I could if I could reach across the screen and slap you, I think I would do that. So. Well. I, I, Hercule, I thank yes. you for stopping uh, by. I yes, hope, yes, I I hope, thank you. I'm going to go now. I hope your murder uh, investigation goes swiftly. I I, I hope so. Uh, you know, by the way, somebody in this game murdered somebody else. Just just so I mean, you know. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Goodbye, everybody. Have a have a good one. Thank you, Hercule. Have a good one. I like his mustache. Anyway, we're <laughs> after that acid trip. We're playing. Smackdown, shut your mouth, and we're going into season mode. <laughs> we were going to make it create a wrestler, but it's like, fuck it. No. Yeah, I decided the hell with it. We're just going to we're just gonna pick a, pick a wrestler from the game. We're going to ruin someone else's career, not our own. Farouk. So, who should we be? That's going to be the first... Hmm. I say Farouk. There's there's so much to laugh about and so much to also feel bad about because of how many people who have unfortunately passed away. I love that he's just a big Valboski in this game. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Let's not be him. Let's yeah, not let's, be him. <laughs> let's not be Cock Chesner or uh Bis Crenois. <laughs> yeah. Best quick my balls. So, so Eddie, rest in peace, Eddie. Let's see here. My immediate thoughts. Oh God, I forgot he was in this. My immediate thought was Al Snow. Al Snow, or maybe Billy Kidman. I mean, Al Snow oh. is relatively relevant thanks to uh, the Netflix show about OVW. That's true. Farouk. Uh, uh, also, Stevie Richards isn't in the game, right? Uh, no, he is not. That's uh, a bummer. My other thought was, since he's got this big YouTube channel happening now, uh, my other thought was Maven. So mm. what, what, yeah, should we do, what should we do? Al Snow? Should we do Maven? What does everybody want? Maven. So Al, Al, Snow, Although, Al Snow, Billy Kidman, or Maven? Those are the three I'm narrowing it down to. Which one should we do? 
Mm-hmm. Is uh, d- describe Maven's move set? Is he more fast or beat him up? Well, there's the specials. <laughs> I mean, oh. I've, I've I've always just been more of a fan of Al Snow because of the gimmick. All right, let's do Al Snow then. Hopefully, he won't forget his cod piece. I want the title. Good evening. Tonight we will witness the first ever World Wrestling Entertainment Draft. I, I do have to point out, by the way, we did try to do this game in the very, very early days of Backseat Gamer uh, when we were starting. Uh, this would have been the very first Backseat Gamer playthrough back in the uh, original days of the show. However, um, the videos got corrupted and we uh, – no, the videos were fucked up in some way and I don't remember how. And we weren't able to post them, so Tetris 99 ended up being the very first episode of Backseat Gamer. Um, but I always wanted to come back to this game. Uh, Vince McMahon will represent SmackDown, and Ric Flair will represent Raw. Oh, this is right after that I, whole bit. Why does I lo- Linda? I love sound- how uh, I love how Jr. and uh, <laughs> Jerry Lawler's voices are coming out of Linda McMahon's mouth. Yeah. Yeah. Has she been possessed? Both Mr. Flair and Mr. McMahon will take turns picking superstars for their respective brand. The entire roster will be available for selection during the draft. In the interest of time, only 20 picks will actually be made live tonight. A lottery will be held immediately after all to determine the placement of the rest of the roster. If you would like to skip the initial draft, press the circle button at the top 10 draft select screen. Undisputed champion is not eligible to be drafted, and due to a contractual clause, Stone Cold Steve Austin is not eligible to be drafted either. Some superstars won't take part because of injury. Uh, so, what should we do? SmackDown or Raw? Let's do SmackDown. Uh, the game is called SmackDown. Shut your mouth. Uh, just, just don't say that too much. Uh, the rock owns the rights to that phrase now. <laughs> does he, he, he owns the rights. Yeah, he does. Is as, one of the uh, things as that he owns, I believe shut your mouth is one of them along with walrus tits. Well, I mean, he what? can own walrus tits all he wants. He used to have walrus tits. Um, <laughs> <laughs> walrus tits, shut your mouth, Rudy poo. Candy ass, not the whole phrase. It's Rudy Poo and Candy ass. They are two separate things. Okay. Yeah. So uh, yeah. I feel bad for Orgy. I mean, that was one of their good albums. That's that's he must be that hard. Like I know I'm hard up for money. He must be really hard up for. They money. They gave him the rights to all that stuff when he signed on as a member of the board for TKO. It's just like here are all your catchphrases and The Rock as your name. You now own it all plus a buttload of money. Let's welcome to the board. Let's just skip the draft and and edit the brands. Let's do that. Oh, you get to like manually uh, pick who's on the brands. I I did it. I did it for The Rock. Uh, so, let's see here. <laughs> of course, uh, of course, Rikishi's going to be on there with The Rock. I did it for The Rock. Oh, we can change the champions already, too. Oh, my. Oh, no, we cannot. I thought we could, but we cannot. Is a pity. All right, so uh, I guess we're on SmackDown. Let's do this. I miss you guys so much. You guys having fun without me. So here's the here's here's the, the card for our very first show. It looks like we're facing Chuck tonight. We did uh, SmackDown two on uh, MVG Live right before this. That's why. Uh, that's why "Shut Your Mouth" was the next logical progression. Look at that beast! Yes. 
Oh, God, here's Vince. I'm here to poop on you. No. Oh, you finally made it. I can't believe you made me wait. <laughs> I've had a semi this whole time. <laughs> so you think you're the man, huh? Well, I'm the one to let you join this program, and you better listen to what I have to say. As long as you don't bite the hand that feeds you, I will think about giving you a title shot. That's all. Now go out there me? and win the match, damn it. Not for you, but for me. Please don't make me fuck a maid. <laughs> and please don't make me poop on her either. That's gross. Oh, wow. First person. Yeah. How do you say you love her if you can't even eat her poop? Well, there's not a... Damn it, Nyaners. There does not appear to be a superstar. <laughs> Let's go downstairs. I'm gonna try to see if there's any any just random, uh, did, there, there can did, be did, random did, superstars just around the. So, somebody mentioned poop. It's, oh hey, it's time for that Neander's clip. Hey, how do you, how do you like? A clown? Hey, it's spark plug. How do you fuck a clown? <laughs> let's see what's let's see what old Bob Holly has to say. <clears throat> what do you want? I mean. I see. Am I right? You want to be with us? Forget it, jerk. Now, come on. Al Snow and Bob Holly are actually friends. <laughs> that makes no sense. Yeah. Even though they beat the piss out of each other back in 1999. But what friends don't beat the piss out of each other? True. Why does he walk so like he's trying to hot, like hold a pickle? Do you do you mind? <laughs> Look, I I am curious. I have to know. Really by curious, as it turns out. I mean, I'm not exactly by curious, but I know people. I bet you do. Well, I guess let's go back upstairs and fucking do this match. I mean, I do got girl crushes, though, oh. but... I went, out, to, I went out the door. I thought I was going out the door to come up to the arena, but apparently not. Backstage. I'm running away. I don't want Vince to poop on me. Go flip! Game fucking over. Nope, I'm outside now. Oh Hotel SmackDown. <laughs> In the SmackDown arena. <laughs> yep. Just I like how Kurt that. Angle's become a meme. He's become a meme? Yeah, there's like this video of Kurt Angle like talking and smiling or something and like the the image of Kurt Angle from it has become like a meme and somebody like photoshopped him and put a third eye on him and turned him into Tien from Dragon Ball Z. All right. Well, let's he Chuck. does. He does kind of have a Tien Shenhan vibe, especially with that fucking neck. Like, he's yeah. so thick. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. Look, do a side by side of Tien Shenhan in the later part of Dragon Ball Z. And then a side by side with what Kurt does Angle. everybody want? Blow jobs. <laughs> Head. <sighs> He's not the same without head. Pepper. <laughs> There's no pepper. He died. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Poor Pepper. Mm -hmm. That, I that forgot was a about that dark story. Yeah, that was dark. God, Billy and Chuck. Uh, Mr. McMahon, your sense of humor is unbelievably white and hetero. Yeah, and not in a good way.
Like, not in a Debbie Downer kind of way, either. This, this certainly was of the time. Yes. Al Snow. Those are the finisher icons. My struck cradle. I would have laughed. That was right a very slow count. That's that's Ooh, how it would have been hilarious. Oh, oh, you, oh, baby, you've got <laughs> Al Ino. What? <laughs> It's supposed to be Al Snow on that sign, but the S looks like an I, so it looks like it says Al, Al I, and No. Al, I know. <laughs> Al, I now. <laughs> uh, uh, I have not had a proper breakfast. You know what I had when I woke up? Scalloped potatoes. With scalloped that potatoes. The, the breakfast shit. of champions? <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong. Scalloped potatoes are delicious, but it's not breakfast. <laughs> Although, and, and I don't know why my workplace is doing this. They keep giving out, like, king-sized candy bars when they walk in. Like, hey, yo, bitch, eat a stick of you when you're hungry. Huh. God damn it. Damn, he. <sighs> Scan and share your rookie mistake. Uh. I'm not even a professional athlete. <laughs> Chucky. Athlete. Chucky. Athlete. All these athletes. Men on men's athlete, athlete feet. Oh. Men on men's slapping knees, men. Which, by the way, who said that? Was that Booker T or was that Biggie? Was Biggie. Biggie. Oh. That, that, was, that was part of uh, that was part of a whole podcast thing. Oh. Is I know I know Big E is kind of like recovering from having a broken fucking neck, but I do kind of miss. It almost killed him. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what it was, but Big E had like a really great personality. Like he used to oh, work yeah. a lot. Whoops. He was strong. He seems like he's a really cool cat to get to know. You know, it's it's just disappointing that like, unfortunately, Keith Lee has some severe health issues right now. And Miro is supposedly out on injury. So as a result, uh, there is going to be no meat madness match. Because oh, that no. pun is just beautiful. Meat madness. Come on. Meat madness. Oh, is, it like... is it a... Was it like deli cuts, like hitting them with salamis and shit? We'll break. It, it it was it was like the biggest guys in all of AEW in one match. Oh. Yeah. Uh, instead, it's going to be like the All Star Scramble, which is most of the people from the Meat Madness match and a few others. I've lost interest in AEW for obvious I'm, reasons. I'm just interested in uh, in it temporarily <laughs> for Sting's last match tomorrow at the time of this recording. It's Sting. We, we will no longer master. we will no longer be able to hear Tony Schiavone screaming that on a regular basis. Snowplow. Boom! It is over. Or I can just put him under submission, I guess. There we go. Ah, damn it. Too close to them ropes, booby. You're a booby. 
I have them. You are them. I know. I have enough for all of us. That's really weird. Never say that again. Well, would you rather say that, you know, that ring is flatter than my chest? Oh, you missed it. Did I? I think so. Because he got up, like, right the fuck away. Ugh. Oh, shit. Damn it. There we go. So, how have you been, Jace? Tired. I feel you. My, my job has just been pure chaos lately. Oh, oh, power bomb to face buster. What the hell? Where the hell did he get that second win from? Uh, it doesn't matter. I'm about to snow plow him. Snow plow. It's over. Pin him, That's pin him, finished. pin him. Ring the bell. <laughs> Sorry, Chucky. There we go. I win. Simple as yeah. that. Yeah. And uh, Croc Lesbian won the four-man battle royal over there. Cock Chesner? Yeah. Chest cunt. <laughs> Sir, Brock not appearing in this program. <laughs> uh, facing Devon tonight. See, if we were Maven, we'd have been in hardcore matches. <laughs> Which is funny because you'd think that Al Snow would have been in mostly hardcore matches too. He wasn't he? Was in a hardcore division for most. Most of his tenure. Yeah. One second. Uh. And of course, ah, damn, son. Oh, what was the Jace? Who was the comic who passed away? I can't Robin? remember. Uh, it's like I know it's Richard. I know it's Richard. Richard. He was also in. Well, I know he was also in Curb Your Enthusiasm. And I was like, Oh, Richard Lewis. Oh, well, well, well. Oh, Richard Lewis. Yes, God rest his soul. All right, let's see who's uh, walking around this this time, if anybody. <sighs> the arena's that way. Mike Rotunda's that way. 
Hey, it's old, but our old friend Bob Holly. Let's see what he's got going on today. Here comes hey. Poor Holly. <laughs> you're, you're a horrible coach, or how have you been doing? Let's be nice. What kind of a question is that? As you can see, I'm in great shape. The reason you haven't seen me for a while is because Rikishi is afraid of me. Is that true, though? Really? If you remember correctly, Al Snow, I don't sit here and beg. I don't beg anyone for anything. If Rikishi wants to challenge me, I will accept the challenge any time. You know, Al, you should know why. They call me the big shot. If I have to prove all over again, even if I have to go straight back to hell, you're not Kane. They will know why I'm the big shot. Yeah, I remember for like the two months that that was his gimmick. He was the big shot. What in the fucking hell? The big shot. Popcorn. You had to be a big shot, didn't you? All right. Let's face Devon. Oh, my brother. Brother, brother, brother. The swing. Just call my name. What does everybody want? Blowjobs. <laughs> yeah. Uh. You know what I would you know what? Instead of blowjobs, you know what I want? Rim jobs. N no. <laughs> Good, I hear those really suck ass. <laughs> <laughs> I want, I want a nice. What does everybody want? Tit jobs. Monkey. Oh, that too. <laughs> I just want. What does nice everybody need? Big knot. Nice knot. Tasty knot. <laughs> Reverend nice Diva. These are so many of the weird gimmicks that I do not remember because I oh, was I remember not Reverend watching wrestling. Reverend Diva I was, was not... the reason Batista is around. <laughs> I wasn't watching a lot of the, like, I wasn't watching during high school when a lot of this was happening. That's how Batista got to start was by being Devon's heavy. Deacon <laughs> Batista. Yeah. Oh, shit. Why does my thumb feel sore? Don't answer that. Get some help. <laughs> Why is your thumb sore? I don't know. Get some help. <laughs> there could be something wrong with it. Probably. Uh, I just was afraid that one of you guys was just going to be like, stop putting it up someone's ass then. Um, Damn it, get out of the way, I mean, ref. I mean, if you keep putting it up somebody's ass, it might get infected, you know? Jackknife pin. Well, not if I wear gloves. I don't put a raw thumb up someone's bum. Oh, That's God. Are you so happy of yourself, huh? Al, good luck on yes, very much so. Not you. Fucking Devon. <sighs> oh! Pins don't work on the outside, fool. Oh. We the people need to fucking eat the rich and not leave a fucking crumb. Oh, God. Oh. Opa. Al Snow matches are exciting. Table spots and everything. Ugh. Whee! Oh, yeah.
Men on men slapping me. Boink. Oh, elbow drop to the head. To point of the head. The suplex. Oh, he blocked it. Suplex. Whoa. <laughs> For a big dude, he athletic as fuck. He nimble for a big man. Oh, fuck. He actually it moved. Like, would you please stay where the fuck you are? I want to elbow you in the tits. Ow. My jaw. What's up with that? You're not the hurricane. <laughs> it's, an it's an SNL sketch. It's called What's Up With That. You're an SNL it sketch. It has. It's, I fucking wish. Uh, an SNL sketch that ended after uh, Samuel L. Jackson uh, dropped an F bomb. <laughs> oh, yes. It's like it's Samuel L. Jackson. Fuck you. Sam it. This is bullshit. They, Sam it. That they, costs they... money. They they didn't they didn't tell Samuel L. Jackson uh, <laughs> how the segment goes down. They literally Eric Andre him. Which is the whole point of that sketch? What's up with that? Involved. Like there's there's so much involved in it because it always cuts to a song. Jason Sudeikis is always break dancing. Fred Armisen is always doing the sexy saxophone solo, and Lindsey Buckingham always gets passed up for interviews. What does everybody want? Uh, uh, uh. <coughs> what does everybody want? Pizuri. <laughs> what does everybody like want? What does everybody want? <laughs> oh, pie. <laughs> Oppai! Oppai! That's titty in Japanese. It is. Yeah. You're not wrong. That That's why one of my favorite things is in the show Zatch Bell, they edited it for kids in America. One of the characters literally sings a song that's just about groping tits. It's a horny Italian it man. Oh, shit. A and table he sings match. <laughs> I'm in a table match tonight with Yvonne. Table! Oh, yeah! Table, 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 table! Table, table, table! Welcome to SmackDown! Oh, yeah, bro! Table, 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 table! Table, You wanted to. See if there's anybody out here in the uh, in the hallway today. If that's, there's that's... not, I'll go find someone. That's one of my favorite buttons, just because you can recreate that whole song. Uh, table. It's, uh, too, too bad the game doesn't have physics where you can have moments with... I am the table! <laughs> oh, thank you, Botchamania and Metallica and Lou Reed. I am the table! <laughs> I love how it's implied to be New York City every single time. And yet they call yeah. it the SmackDown Arena, which might have inspired fucking AEW. It's like, you know what? I've been playing this game called SmackDown Shut Your Mouth and uh, hold on, I gotta do a bump. What if... <laughs> <laughs> I gotta do a bump. Of, of coke? What if... <laughs> What if we just have this all in one city and we'll tour from time to time, but everything is just, hold on, I got to do another hit. Mm. Oh, Florida, man. What if we just have it in Florida? Wow, that actually kind of hurt my nose. Yeah, Coke, Coke, <laughs> Coke will do that. <laughs> and, oh, what a rush. I was, it was either that or the, get the rocket fuel for the spaceship. <laughs> Hello children This is Ashley Miller And McDonald's Restaurants Gave me an opportunity to talk to you About pretending to do drugs for comic effect Stop it 
Get some help. Otherwise, you may hurt your nose. Oh, I see. There's unlockable things. Did you know that they're not going to do surge pricing at Wendy's? You know who doesn't do surge pricing? McDonald's. You could get, for $3, four-piece chicken McNugget, medium fry, one dollar drink. Where are you going to get a good deal like that? Is there really seriously like, just nobody around? That's <laughs> fucking weird. Jeez. Oh, maybe if I go in the locker uh, room, if I could figure out where the locker room yeah. is. Yeah. Yeah, find the find the find the fucking locker room. See, it's like maybe if we hide in here, they won't know where we so, are. Speak, speaking of Wendy's, uh, did you see the segment from the Daily Show making fun of that with uh, Ronnie Chang? No, but please tell me. So so uh, his whole thing is like, yeah, you know, I bought like four thousand baconators at two a.m. and I'm gonna sell them all at lunch tomorrow. When for uh, for a discount, and I'm gonna make a big profit off of it. <laughs> mm, and then hello, like Ronnie. he proceeds he proceeds to open a packet of salt, and he goes, "It's pure Himalayan," and he start he starts to snort it. <laughs> oh God! Oh, that <laughs> that'll make your nose bleed in a hurry. Yeah, he's like rubbing it on his gums too. I'm just like, oh my God, dude! Like. Please tell me he only did that for one take. <laughs> the I take with hope. the audience. Oh my god. Roddy Chang is probably my favorite correspondent on The Daily Show. So is Jon Stewart like back? Like is he back back? One, just one Mondays. Week. Yeah, just Mondays. Ah. Oh. So yep. it's like dad wants the beauty pack. And then, pack, and then somebody else... Somebody else is uh, there the rest of the week, and it's a different I, person every week. I heard Leslie Jones like fucking killed it when she hosted. Most most of the guest hosts actually were were really good. Yeah, this is this is gonna sound weird, and and it's not me really really being like as I hate the word fan. Uh, it's not me being a fan, but I think it's more serendipitous. I would love to see John Mulaney host a partial week of The Daily Show. And, and I will tell you why. I will tell you why. Oh, shit! I am the table! There's your eye You the got table. lucky. I didn't, no, uh, a couple I didn't. of years ago. I didn't get lucky at all. I wanted the table. It's a tables match, Ashley. I was trying to put him through it. That is the I know, opposite but of luck. It, it's risky. It's risky because you know what would have happened if you would have gone through the table. Yeah, but but here we go, going for it again. Okay, okay, it worked this time. That's good. <laughs> but um, table a couple of years ago, <laughs> a couple a couple of years ago, when Stephen Colbert was a correspondent. He was trying to get uh, someone sainthood, and it was someone who was like a gun enthusiast, but he was doing it as a joke. And well, uh, I think one of the better when... correspondents is uh, Klepper, Jordan Klepper, because like he Klepper? just he, he is such a freaking uh, troll. Whenever he goes to like the actual uh, in person events, like he trolls conservatives so hard. Oh, that's that's hot. It's 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 as beautiful as when uh, freaking uh, Eric Andre went to like the RNC. Let me in! Let me in! <laughs> wow, that fucking main event! <laughs> oh shit! We're facing Devon again. versus the Undertaker. Special. Ver what do you expect? It's that time of. Uh... WWE when they really just book the same matches over and over and over again. Okay, I guess. But of course Welcome they didn't Smackdown. have. <laughs> but the question is, did they have fans calling them in on their bullshit back in the day, or was it yes. just? <laughs> oh. Yeah, it's just social media wasn't really a thing back then. Yeah, not in two thousand. So it wasn't. It wasn't really, you know, you you had like a silent minority at that point. 
Bob so is Holly. people just saying there's bullshit Roy. and it needs to change, but nobody will pay attention. Hey, it's you again. Oh. When can I see you as a big shot? You should keep coaching. Your students look strong. Which of these things should I say? Well, probably uh, fast forwarded through what Bob was saying because now it's like one of those is going to get you a target and one of them is just going to get your ass whooped. He's got a face like a lizard man and it's creeping me out. <laughs> well, he looks cuter than my first dad. If you wish, so. I'll prove that against you first. Oh, whoa! You just got... Oh, so, oh, uh... now I gotta face him in a last man standing match. Nice. Hey, way better. Way better. Yeah, way better than facing Devon, honestly. Plus, For like Snow the third time in a row. Holly had that huge rivalry. What What are you doing out here, Chuck? Or Billy, sorry. Sorry for confusing you with Chuck Palumbo. I'll never make that mistake again. <laughs> it's Daddy Ass. <sighs> hey, what you doing, Daddy Scissor Ass? Scissor me, Daddy Ass. Ouch, what the hell are you doing? Did I just dump coffee on him? <laughs> Classic. I am I am so proud I, of the fact that I, we're I like playing Billy Gunn. I'll apologize. I see. You want to pee? I apologize. What the fuck? We'll have a cage match. What? Wait, wait. So now. What? <laughs> <laughs> this is, this what? Is bullshit. So you were trying to be nice <laughs> and put you in a cage match. What would have happened if you were just a straight up dick? Probably would have been a daddy, cage match. Daddy, anyway. yes. Daddy, yes. Daddy, yes. Let's see who else you can run into to cause another match. With. Yeah, let's 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 put me let's put me in another match. Why not? This is bullshit. I wanted that last man standing match with Hardcore Holly. I think that would have been better. This stupid cage I'm, match. I'm not gonna lie, but it's so nice yeah, of like else Billy Gunn. It's so nice of Billy Gunn to be like an adoptive father to the acclaimed because most gay men do need a male role model figure. <laughs> All right. I guess we're going to go face fucking Next Billy. caster is going through a lot right now, too, unfortunately. I didn't even know that Max Caster was gay. I knew I knew his partner was. Oh Although God! Like it. his his he's constantly coming on to freaking MJF on Twitter, and it's always funny. Well, that and of course he got hit on by a woman. He's like, "Honey, I'm flattered, but I'm gay," and it's like, yeah. "Okay," but he still does the underwear modeling for Rihanna's new uh, men's underwear line. And I'm like, "Yeah," he he knows what he's doing. He he knows what he's doing. He knows his demographic. Um, well, uh, um, the, the the best part about it all, too, like like the unfortunate thing is I found out that like Max Caster's dad passed away recently. Oh, no. And like when he came out and did the rap, like he fumbled up really bad and like kind of forgot his line. And it was like, oh, no. Oh, 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 my. Like that is a bit of a botch. Max Caster normally doesn't fumble that bad like ever and then it hit me like somebody was like oh yeah i heard his dad passed away recently i'm like shit nobody tell christian yeah nobody tell christian at all yeah. otherwise christian will take advantage of it your father's what? dead 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 but your wonder, father's dead <laughs> i wonder what will happen if someone just takes the piss out of him beforehand it's like oh by the way christian I know my dad's dead, so mm. stale joke. Why do no. you fall so? Thin? To give there an air of uh, strategy. Because it's like I figure it's like you, you just monkey climb up that thing, and then it's like boom, you you just fucking do the thing. But it's like you get up there, and, and it's not like not every match can work as fast as a tables match. Yeah. Go. Go. Turtle. Go. Turtle. 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 Go. I'm not turtly enough for the turtle club. 
Speaking yeah, of turtle, just... uh, Mitch McConnell finally uh, leaving. Na 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 na. Hey hey hey! hey. Fuck, Fuck off. you! Yeah. <laughs> so also uh, speaking of uh, things that get censored, um, SmackDown recently. They kept cutting to black on the East Coast feed. Yeah, there was a die, uh, Rocky died uh, sign in the audience. Sign. Didn't want to show. Oh, I thought it was because of yeah. the Australia thing because they kept flipping off Dom. No, this was on SmackDown. See, no, on this was SmackDown. This was uh, this was at the time of this recording last night's SmackDown. They kept cutting to black very abruptly throughout the whole opening, and we're like, uh, "What's going on?" And it's like. I guess it's the die Rocky die sign. Doesn't fly in 2024. It's like, don't get me wrong. I understand there's fans. I'm not exactly the biggest fan of Dwayne Johnson. Cause you know, he's kind of acting like a prick, but, but, but I will, to... I will hate it to him. Even he can make the bloodline crack. Because in his most recent promo, he's talking about uh, if on day one of WrestleMania, the tag team of Roman and The Rock beat Cody and uh, uh, Seth, that it's bloodline rules on day two of WrestleMania. He's like, bloodline can do whatever they want. If Wiseman wants to introduce a foreign object, he can. If Solo wants to sing the national anthem, he can. And he's got a wonderful singing voice. <laughs> and you can just see them trying not to laugh when he says that. <laughs> and like the crowd is just starting to go like, let Solo sing, let Solo sing. And I'm like, how did we go from booing this man as The Rock was like calling everybody in Phoenix, Arizona, a bunch of coke and meth heads to suddenly cheering for the guy as he's now saying he will make his cousin sing the national anthem <laughs> he's got he's got bardic inspiration like he is... <laughs> i mean seriously if we were to look at it from a dnd perspective the Nat rock 20. would be a bard barian like he so, would be well uh that that just reminds me of that freaking uh that one song. Me and my boys gonna fuck you up. I rolled a one, I rolled a one. Fuck. <laughs> oh no. Uh it's you you always... ever see that you ever see that song by uh Tom Cardi? No about that? Please, oh please my god, it is so funny. The only song that I know of from Tom Cardi is the the uh Hall and Oates one where he's like, You're a cunt. No, no, the one, the one that he did. Uh, oh God, I'm trying to remember the name of it now. Um, Perception check. Oh my God, perception check is so freaking funny. God damn it! Really? How the hell did he get up? <laughs> Me and my boys gotta fuck you up. I rolled a one. I rolled a one. Fuck. <laughs> My boys are otherwise engaged. <laughs> okay. Elbow Listen. up the ass. Well, Elbow I mean, up the ass. Ouchie. I mean, he's he is Mr. Ass. What the fuck do you think you're doing? Get off of that. No. Look, if my motherfucking rules, my motherfucking cage. If you pull me off, I pull you off. There we go. I'll have to look at it some other time. Maybe yeah. Because in the middle of the stream. But in the middle yes. of this, but yeah, later. Like, watch watch this animated music video. It is so funny. Oh, I think I got it. <laughs> I might have loot it. That oh, body. Got loot that it. body. Now. Loot that oh, body. Yeah. Loot that motherfucker. No. Yeah, I did it. Yeah. There, there we go. For a second, it was gonna, I was going to be like, no, don't jump off it. <laughs> Someone save that snow. Yeah, he may not what be the What the hell did dog. the backwards part of his song say? 
I have no Probably idea. Probably what does everybody want head in <laughs> reverse? I have no idea. It was God. It was that I am Leaf Cassidy. No. Uh <laughs> I was Avatar again. Wait. Was Could he I... control all four of the elements? No. Ooh, backlash. Damn it. And is that going to be on the next episode of Backseat Gamer? No. It's going to be on this oh, one. Oh, fuck. You, you can't time where the shit. <laughs> well, no shit, I'm Sherlock. not booked. You're I'm double not, booked? I'm... No, I'm I'm zero booked. Oh shit! So I'm not booked at all. Do you, do you see That's... Al Snow on this card anywhere? Why are you not booked? <laughs> He's not that on the card. Wait, so apparently maybe... that voice that's backwards on the recording is somebody saying, "I am the one in control." Wow. Maybe you're doing a run-in? Maybe? Mm -hmm. I mean, I could I could interfere in a match if I wanted to. But I'm just, I'm not booked for a match myself. I, I suppose if I found somebody, I could probably get myself booked. Rhino! Like, for instance, Rhino. <laughs> yeah, let's start something. Hey, what Rhino, are you, are you drinking coffee also? Let me spill some more coffee. <laughs> are you fucking kidding me? Ouch! Yep. What the hell are you doing? I was the last ECW television champion and ECW heavyweight champion. Watch it, man. I need to teach you some respect right now. Yeah, That's we fucking... got booked for the show. Yeah, That's right. I'm... Oh, oh, shit! Back yes, yes. It's a hardcore match. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh no! Fuck off! Fuck off! Fuck hey. off! Woo. Oh god! Oh Where'd god! You... Oh god! On the floor! Are you oh! Me? Why did I do that? On the floor of the arena. Oh, he duck beetle. There. Fuck you. Uh, you know what, though? I mean, uh, what? No, we're going to take this match outside. Oh. Street fight! Street fight! Literally. Street fight! Literally a street fight. Oh. Ow. Oh. Oh. Where's the fucking weapons? We need weapons. We do. This ain't hardcore enough yet. You're right. What, Wait, why does why does weapon. Rhino look like Weird Al Yankovic on steroids? <clears throat> oh no! My weapon. Hose line. Yeah. Oh god, oh. he gore he gored me on the floor. No, stop! No, god damn it! He is quick for a thick man. I am in danger. Rhino, Why is he so quick? I mean, Rhino was always quick. Rhino's quick for a big but man. He, he is... It, it just amazes me. Like, I've never seen him wrestle. And it's like, why is he so thick, yet so quick? Alright, grab, grab, that, grab that fucking Where fire extinguisher. Right over there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, the sound that made <laughs> hit him in the head. Dunk, dunk, dunk. Oh no, the ramp. Earl, stay the fuck out of the way. Yeah, don't get in the way, Earl. That is Earl. It's like, God damn it, I'm an official. It's like, stay out of the way, you old. Oh, on the oh. fire extinguisher, fuck. Damn. Oh, too bad you can't pull off a Tony Hawk's Where's Pro Skater the... rail. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Rail. Is... <gasps> I see a weapon. I see. Ooh. It. Yeah, to your left there. Oh. Oh. We're where, going where into. Are we going? Where? Suplex. 
Oh. In the parking Ooh. lot. Parking garage. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, trash can. Time to take out the trash. Trash. So, Charlie, I'm the trash man, and I throw trash I was say, all over uh, the there, there, there was a uh, pretty good uh, oh, street fight, shit. actually. Oh, damn. That's the can you power DDT bomb him onto the car. freaking trash can lid? Can you power bomb him onto the car? Oh, even better. Oh God. Oh yeah. Oh God. No. Ah fuck. Oh my car. Oh my car. Oh shit. <laughs> oh damn. I hope someone has uh, insurance because. Hope they hope they had Progressive, the sponsor of SmackDown. <laughs> legit legit the actual sponsor of smackdown right now <laughs> progressive because oh, if your car's not oh oh it just hurts so much oh. more on the concrete uh is it giving you flashbacks to yesteryears michael no oh oh that sound well, oh, that crunch not gonna lie, Mike. When you were wrestling on the hard ground, I'm sure it was. Oh, 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 Jesus! Oh, that's the finish. Oh, never mind. I fell. <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> and I fell. I fell off of the car. Is that a box of Pellegrino back there? <laughs> It looks uh, like it. That's too with the star that's on it. Too LA for this crowd. <laughs> <laughs> this this street fight is brought to you by Pellegrino because your mom's got to drink something. Uh, this street fight is brought to you by Lacroix. Damn it! Every time, oh god, power slam. Ah. This this street fight is brought to you by Coca Cola. If a German can drink it, so can you. No, get on that fucking car. This street fight is brought to you by Pepsi. Pepsi, oh. for when you can't have Coke. Pipe! There's a pipe on the ground. Ooh. Oh! Too bad you can't do a special on the car. That's what I'm trying to do, but it's really difficult. Oof. Damn it. We I'm running. Gotcha, bitch. Seeing like all the weapons strewn all over the place just makes me think of like River City Ransom. Damn it. Damn. That was a surprise. So, um, Mike, oh, I have God. a question. Oh, snowplow oh. on the ground. That's the finish. Oh, pin him. What? What? Damn, he, is, he is thick, boy. So, um, Michael, Damn it, I have a question. Damn it, Hebner. Have, have you ever considered uh, playing genital jousting? No. It is quite the interesting video game. It would get us fucking flagged to hell, though, on YouTube. There are streamers who have done it on YouTube. You just have to put up a disclaimer that they look like penises, they act like penises, and they but are they're not penises. penises. But they are not quite penises. Yeah, because these penises have buttholes in the ball sack. A penis doesn't quite do that. I mean, you still have the taint. These things kind of are sentient and not real. They are penis-like. They are penis-adjacent, but they are not the real thing. No, I, I was just curious because uh, I've been watching some uh, VTuber, uh, thanks to Jace, uh, playing some genital jousting, and I don't remember uh, seeing what I had seen, but... It, it was something. 
There, there are certain VTubers who are just unhinged. Hachama is one of them. Yes, and after watching some of Hachama's uh, clips, uh, thank you, Jace, it's like, I feel I have a kindred spirit uh, to an extent. She, she is I up there. Have... Her, yes. her, I, I feel like you're, you're somewhere between her and to a lesser extent, like Manners, Chibidoki, like the, the, you're, you're more tame than the unhinged non hollow live VTubers. Well, I still have some modicum of restraint and uh, I know sometimes on the I, concrete. I, I oh, again, Ooh. let's finish. Finally. You haven't even, you, no one has even busted open. No one was even bleeding. That's yeah. Real what bad. is this? The PG era? <laughs> Rock Lesnar is the new Intercontinental Champion. Yeah, I see that. Uh, so and we will. Good. That is the end of this episode of Backseat Gamer. If you like what we do, please hit subscribe and be sure to hit the bell to be notified of upcoming videos. For Jason Amherst and Ashton Miller, I'm Mike Riley saying see you next time on Backseat Gamer.